The judge criticizes unfair treatment of January 6 rioters. Unexpectedly, the court sentenced a Texas man who participated in the January 6 disturbance to 45 days in prison, even though prosecutors didn't request it. Judge Tanya Chutkin said it was unfair to equate peaceful civil rights protesters to a mob that was attempting to destroy the country. It overlooks the actual threat the January 6 riots represent to our democracy, she added. Last week, a judge in Washington said the Justice Department was being overly harsh on the January 6 defendants compared to those detained during the George Floyd demonstrations. Prosecutors had requested two months of house confinement for Danielle Doyle of Oklahoma. Some people have said that the January 6 defendants are being unjustly punished, said Chutkin, who was nominated by former President Barack Obama. She thinks the pro-Trump mob members were handled more leniently than other defendants. Despite what she termed the premeditated determination to travel to the district to attempt to disrupt the peaceful transition of power, several defendants, including Mazzocco, were merely charged with misdemeanors. On the other hand, those who rioted after Floyd's death were pardoned, say several January 6 defendants and Republican supporters. However, an Associated Press review of court records revealed that scores of individuals were convicted of severe offenses and sentenced to jail. Malgré his inaction in the Capitol, the court ruled Mazzocco should be imprisoned due to his involvement in the disturbance. That day's rioters were safe in numbers due to people like Mazzocco, she said. So yet, just a few of the approximately 90 January 6 offenders have been sentenced. Also last week, two additional offenders were sentenced to 45 days in jail for disruptive behavior.